good boy. Everyone, welcome to Lucy McKenzie Humane Society. I'm a volunteer here and I wanted to introduce you to a few of the dogs. Got you. The dogs and some cats here at the shelter just looking for homes. And we have some new dogs that um, were surrendered this past month, as well as some strays that are just love bugs too. For dogs though, I wanted to start with this big fuzzy guy. This is Skipper. He's oh, about a 10 year old German Shepherd. And Skipper's been here the longest of all of our dogs and no one can figure out why. He's a big, gorgeous fellow, absolutely loves people. And in case you can't tell, loves raccoons. Do you like raccoons? Yes? Oh, too many toys to choose from. But he, this is a boy that if you haven't, if you're not familiar with shepherds, he's, a, he's just a lovely shepherd. Um, he's the type of dog who is super, super people focused, super toy focused. And just if he chooses you, he, you will be his for the rest of his life. Um, amazingly loyal. Um, let's see, fun things about this boy. What I'm really looking forward to seeing is when someone does take him home, he loves water. He's that type of dog who you could take to a lake every day and it just the simplest, simplest levels of happy for you. Um, let's see, he's very toy focused, very food focused. And let me, let me show you how good of a runner he is too. Are you ready, Skip? Go get it. Oh, wait, you've chosen the raccoon as his favorite. What's so fun is every time I come to the shelter to play with him, he's a dog that chooses a favorite toy of the day. And he will carry that one toy everywhere. He will try to bury it. He will try to soak it. Oh, I did find that volleyball. I found that volleyball this week. I thought you'd like it, Skip. <laughs> but he's a sweet, energetic boy. Lots of character. <laughs> Is it for me? Oh, you're so good at that. Go get it. And I, again, no idea why he's still here. Um, let's see, the only restrictions he really has is, you know, as a big loud shepherd, he's um, no cats. He loves cats. Cats do not love him. Um, and then we also do have him as a solo dog. So if you don't have any other critters, dogs, or cats at home, this could be your fellow. Oh, oh, you're so strong. His hips look great. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, yeah. Nice square back hips. Um, and actually, his story is he came in as a stray. We could not believe that no one claimed this boy. Oh, I need to get that snake. Um, a, a critter as, as just lovely as this fellow. Um, and when he came in, um, we couldn't see his hips. He's been on a nice diet. And he is looking so good. But someone clearly loved this boy. He oh, everybody, this is our teeny tiny fairy. Um, she just came in a couple weeks ago. And she came in as a stray with two kittens. So she's a tiny young mama right here. And she is such a love bug too. To walk into the shelter and be immediately, immediately approached by all of these sweet young cats. She's also just a couple years old. And this fairy bell, she is, oh, let's see, things you should know about her. Because they came in a strays, we don't know too much about how they interact with other dogs or other cats, but they're doing well here in this communal room. Did, did Ballora just find one of your toys? But if you're looking for just a little sweet lap cat of a cat, this little fairy duster is definitely the girl. She's a beautiful light brown tabby with just some great, great peach and orange highlights all around her face. Now let's turn here. Oh, there she goes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you tell that camera. Oh, yeah. But no, some sweet, affectionate young cats. And then if we come down a bit too, we do have a very friendly mature man in here too. Okay. We're down at go. the bottom here, this is Max. And Max came in simply because his owner wasn't able to find housing that allowed her to have this big boy. Um, and a well-loved cat. It's so hard when people have to surrender their pets because of housing. He's, oh, how old is he now? 10, 12, 14, 16. 
He's an older senior male up in his teens, and he is still a sweet, sociable boy. He has this gorgeous black tiger coat, and he comes right up to you to say hi and introduce himself. And this isn't the first time that he's had to be looking for a new owner. Um, his last owner actually rescued him as a vet clinic because he had a broken leg that the family can fix, and so she brought him home. So people have loved this boy so much. Right now he is too pleased with getting petted. Um, he is doing a good impression of a gravity-free cat right here. But when he does get up and walk, he has an old man's way. And you can see that old leg injury. He has a nice gumpy little leg to show off. But beautiful, purring, friendly boy. If you didn't want the, oh, now you're just really going to town there. If you didn't want the enthusiasm of a young cat that is constantly wanting to play, this is just the boy who will sit in your lap, purr, and just give you sweet love. And, oh really? Oh, sorry. Everybody, this is our cute, tiny little lap dog here at Lucy McKenzie. This is Deborah. She is a nice, husky, and fluffy. This is our fluff winner. Um, Deborah's here as a transfer from down south. She came up from Kentucky. She's only been here a few weeks now and she is a people lover. When you first come to meet her, she'll be a little bit shy and reserved, and then, and then she sits in your lap and she wins you over. She is a beautiful, striking dog. I'm gonna put a, oh, did I startle you? Was that a fly or was that me? She's a beautiful girl and watching her run and flip and spin, she is just a, a wonderful husky. Um, I am going to put her on a longer leash just because we're working on a recall, but we're just doing, still doing some training with her. Let me find your other leash, sweetheart. Where did I put it? It's so long. It's so long. It's so long. And I want you just to watch this girl spin. Um, and what's so fun is the staff here at the shelter have been working with her. They're like, we try every toy under the sun. She's not a toy lover. She is a people lover and we'll follow everyone in the playrooms. Are you ready to run? Are you ready? One, two, three, go! That wasn't that much of an exit. <laughs> there we go. Let's see if we can get a good run in you. Are you ready? Are you ready? There she is. That's the Deborah I wanted to see. Look at her fluff. It just defies gravity. Um, movie Starlet. Gorgeous redhead. Is that a camera? Is it looking at you? <laughs> Look at her go. Oh my god. Oh, you sing it. Are you ready? There she goes. There she goes. Come on, let's go this way. Let's go this way. Yay! What's she got? Oh, oh, you're just so funny. Oh, you're just so funny. What you doing? What you doing? Debra, you are just, you are a clown. You're a clown. You're so funny. You're so beautiful. You're such a pretty girl. What you got? Oh, hey, did I mention? Did I mention I brought some cookies? Deb, you want cookies? What a good girl. Oh, you, you're great at recall. Look at you. You, um, you dropped the slobbery bit. Would you like that too? Would you like that too? Okay, excellent. Choice. You want to play? Oh, you're a great girl. Let's go play. Let's run. Let's get some energy out. Oh, and energy, she's four years old, so she's not a puppy. This is Deborah as an adult. Fun, energetic, such a silly girl. Are you sneaking up behind me? She's, I do confess, for entertainment at home, we take slow motion videos of our shelter dog, and she would be gorgeous in a slow motion video. Just that hair going up and down and up and down. Oh, yeah. 
Okay, let's go this way. Where should my shoe go? Let's go this way. Let's go this way. <laughs> you are just such a joy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, Deb, come and say hi. Deborah. Deb, Deb. Would you like cookie? Would you like cookie? She's thinking about it. She's like, no, I just want to run. I just want to run. Hey, you lap girl. It's so nice to see you. It's so nice to see you. Yep. Yeah. So if you want instant beauty in your life, Deb, where's your girl? Deb, where's your girl? Good. Oh, 80s all the way. Doesn't she just has this beautiful 80s bouffant to her? Oh, now you're just, oh, nice. I give you Debra. <laughs> Hi, Ma. How you doing? Hi, Chai. Hi, Chai. Oh, everybody. Oh, no. They found my treat bag. Oh, no. I have been caught. I have been caught. <laughs> hey, Milo. Now, we have two new, two new residents here at the shelter, and they are both bugs. <laughs> you are so snorty. If you do not have enough snorting in your life, we have a solution for you. We have Little Ty and Big Milo. They're two bonded boys. They came, let's see, they came in just a couple weeks ago because like so many times, their owner wasn't able to find housing and a rental that would let her keep her two fabulous pugs. You got a sniff going there? Backwards, please. You are much more mellow on that than my beagle. My beagle loses it when he does a backward sneeze. Harness? Oh, the, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I supposed to be scratching that? I apologize. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll Let's on. see. This is Ty right here. <laughs> Ty loves the thumb scratches. He loves to run. Oh my gosh, watching these two in a dog park or in our exercise yard. They zoom like a skittle going across. They are they're just sweet, affectionate creatures. And to get two pugs at the same time. You just, oh yeah, go get a close up on the wrinkles. Get the wrinkles in there. Pugs are wonderful, affectionate dogs. So, I'm sorry, did you get this, did you get this bum shot right here? Because that was a bum in the air. Hi, you handsome boy. I have no idea where your leash is right now. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so if you want double the love and double the wrinkles and double the snorts, and oh, did you just roll over? Okay, are you two professional actors? Is this what's going on? Hi, hello, Milo. Come say hi, fall in love with these two, and come home with a lot of laughter in your life. 